So, cinematography has been my subject of interest since a very long time, as I used to watch a lot of movies, ranging from oldest to the newest ones, until I was restricted to use smartphones. But still, I managed to use a. S <laughs> But still, I managed to watch it on a 2G cell phone, which is a different story. I would share some other day. Anyways, I love the way how cinema defines the beauty of a simple object, character, and environment, driven by a good story. And one of the biggest benefits of 3D graphics and CGI is that you can apply all your filmmaking knowledge into a 3D environment, as you get complete control over camera and lighting. If we observe the most important characteristic of any 3D program, it is the logic behind how the light is reflected across different surfaces and objects. As now over the past decade, the 3D technology has improved a lot, resulting in realistic looking renders. The program I use is called Blender, which you might know is free and open source. One of the biggest projects they used it for was in the movie RRR. It was used in the process of asset production and the final rendering of the scenes. So this should solve all your questions regarding the capabilities of this program. So recently I came across few car sequences which were very well portrayed as if it had its own character. First was an edit made by Peter McKinnon of a Ford Raptor. Second was Lamborghini Huracan's official video. They did a really good job in filming it. And lastly the Batmobile sentry scene from the recent movie. That's it. Now let's begin the creation of our version of the car sequence. Well, firstly, I needed a car, but I was too lazy to model it from scratch. So I imported a low poly car from a 3D asset library. It looked ugly at first, so I made few changes like tweaking the proportions, replacing the front grille, headlights, tail lights, and wheels. By the way, recently I created a low poly car animation. You may check it out from the description link. Next, I rigged the car which made it a fully functional vehicle. Further, I storyboarded all the scenes I had in my mind. So there were four environment settings that had to be modeled. First was a garage scene. Second was a high street with few tall buildings. Third was an off-road setting with uneven land. And finally a VFX shot that I would break down after I present you the final sequence. Let's say I don't want to spoil it. Now all the infrastructure that you see in the scene is made using one single method called image projection and I'm going to show you how it works. For example, let's create a cube. Find a 2D image texture and connect it to the base color of the cube in shading tab. Go in the side orthographic view, tab into edit mode, select the image in UV editor. Now press U, project from view and adjust the face to fill the image. Now add edge loops and extrude faces. For more realism, increase the roughness, decrease the specular. Select the faces with windows, press P to separate the selection, add a mix shader and connect a glossy BSDF to it. That's how you create realistic looking buildings. Fun fact, there are no entrances to these buildings. What? You've been hiding that the entire time? Further, I modeled grass created few variations and randomized the distribution on the off-road plane using particle system. I also added smoke simulation to show the dust trails thrown off by tires. Later I animated all the objects in the scene and finally rendered all the scenes one by one, which took almost a week to fully render, after which I spiced up the renders in DaVinci Resolve. And here's the final sequence. Enjoy.
So in the final shot, I put myself into the 3D environment. Let's break the illusion. As you can see, I didn't have feet. To remove myself from the background, I had to rotoscope. It is the process where you create a selection and animate it frame by frame, which was a real pain in the butt. I had to do it cause I didn't have a green screen. So basically I put a video of myself into the 3D space and that's how I got the results. If you liked this video, I would ask you to subscribe and share cause YouTube won't recommend me much to the audience at this stage.